Hey guys, Kiri Gamer here. Welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Now I've seen thumbnails of people playing this game, but I never really actually saw the videos. So I'm going to try Doki Doki Literature Club for myself. Let's get right into it. Okay. Kiri Gamer. Or you know what? Just put the Kiri. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally ob oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori. Sayori? My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. But. It just kind of works because works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me, af if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However. I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. I just realized I was talking. I can't even see who's who's talking. E E You say that you say that like you're thinking you're th you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Kiri. Well, if people stared at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have... You don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Hmm. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near the streets, we become, in become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Kiri, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh. That's not true. You told me you were going to join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In a way of our many conversations, where, d <sighs> where did I dismissively <laughs> go along with whatever she's going on about? Okay, I'm just babbling on. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content. Just getting by. <laughs> on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. That sounds just like me, not gonna lie. Uh-huh. I was talking about how <laughs> I was talking about how I worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now. But I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What is a neat? You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I look at a few clubs. I'll look at a few clubs if that makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me? You'll try a little. Yeah, I guess. I dropped my phone. Okay. Yeah, I guess. I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Yeah, but as I was saying, I was watching... Well, not watching. I saw thumbnails of people... Of this game called Doki Doki Literature Club. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. 
It's kind of hard because like this is my first novel thingy. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but yeah, the novel thing. But yeah, it's my first one. I guess seeing her worried so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a bit, a little bit, even if she does not exaggerate everything inside her head. Okay, yeah, this is hard to read because because <laughs> it's going so fast. School day is, nor is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before you know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs? So everybody wants me to check out some clubs. Guess I have no choice but to start with the anime. Oh, that's what I did once I first got to high school. I just went like, is there any anime clubs in here? Hello? Anime clubs? Hello, Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I looked around and realized I'm the only one left in the classroom. But I kept, I thought I'd catch up to you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you sitting here spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Well, I have to wait for you at the bus. You don't need to wait for me. It's going to make you late to my to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, you know what? Well, that you could try. You could come to my club. Sayori, yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> Meanie. Sayori is the vice president of the literature club. Not that I have. I'm. I, ever aware that she had any interest in literature. I mean, I don't know. In fact, I'm 99% sure that she's on she only did it because she thought it would be fun and s to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed to be club president. She inherited the title of vice president. That said, my interest and literature is guaranteed to, be, guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Wait, hold on. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyways? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Mm -hmm. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. Yeah, she planned the thing for me yesterday. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Why, fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! Let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visited. Visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you. I told you, don't call an, me a new member. Bless me. I glanced around the room. Welcome to... Whoa. Grow on. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori, Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? Okay, so I can see that she is going to be a prick. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Kiri. What a nice surprise. Enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. So there is... Uh, a prick. The one who's always happy. And... The one that always gives his death stare. Welcome to the club. Uh, all words escape from me in this situation. This club... It's full of incredible cute girls. Ugh. What are you looking at?
If you want to say something, say it. S sorry, Natsuki. Oh, that's Natsuki. <laughs> the girl was the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki. Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Oh my god. Sayori says that quietly into my ear and turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. <laughs> I doubt it. This is Yuri, the smartest in the club. This one? Oh, I thought she was giving a death stare. Don't, don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably comparable, more mature, intimate, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet you both. It sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? Well, that's right. It's great to see you again, Kiri. Uh, what do you mean? Whoa. We do know each other. We, well, we rarely talk, but we were in the f same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So, having her smile at me is genu genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Okay, y you don't let me finish. <clears throat> Come sit down, Kiri. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make us some tea as well? I want some tea right now. The girls have a few desks arranged in a form of a table. As I already mentioned, it's been widen. It's been widened. So that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner room where Natsuki grabs an, a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh, wow. Lift the foil and... Foil off and the tray and to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. Oh, that sounds nice. So cute! I had no idea you were good at baking, Natsuki. Eh, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sorry, we grabs the first one, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori takes, talks with her mouthful and already managed to get the icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around with my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I haven't I heard this somewhere before. <laughs> Made them for you or anything? Oh, she's blushing. Eh, I thought you technically did. As I already said. Well, maybe. But not for you, you know, you dummy. Ah, uh, she's probably a sundere. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying the, a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? In this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, uh, uh, I guess. Book, what? And don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. That's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, 
IT and reading might not be might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. Oops. I pressed something. I accidentally pressed save. <laughs> I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles at herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what so what made you consider the literature club? Um I didn't. Sayori did. I was afraid of this question. Some t something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica I was practically practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't really joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... It's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be on board, uh, be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the of the debate club last year? Ah uh -huh, well, ah uh -huh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics and around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing, arguing about a budget and publicity. And how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't many people in this club yet. It must be hard to start a new club could put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start a new something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard and convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like a festival that m much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. <laughs> everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm in liter about literature. So, Kiri, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... I don't know, but I'm going to leave it off here, guys. Um... That was Doki Doki Literature Club, my version of it. If you've seen people play Doki Doki Literature Club, and there's more better than mine, then I don't blame you. Uh, yeah, so, hope you guys enjoyed Doki Doki Literature Club, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. You're about to see I'm a better emperor than Palpatine Even Tesla would have been proud of me Because I can fire lightning now